the order process from start to finish. Now, when a buyer is interested in a service, they have two ways of making an order. They can send you a message and you'll get a notification in the messages inbox area, or they can just order on your gig and you will get a notification that you have a new order. Now, if the buyer sends you a message and you get a notification in the inbox, when you go to the inbox, you can have a conversation with the buyer. And if they're interested in your service, what you can do is create an offer. And by doing so, you're basically customizing your gig setup so that you can send them the price and what you will do and how long you will take to do so quickly through the inbox area. So if I was to say I'm going to transcribe something, I would choose that particular gig that relates to that service in the discover offer section I would type up what I will do for the total offer amount I would put how much I'm going to do it for and for delivery time I would put how long it will take me to do the task and then I submit the offer always be detailed in your description of what you will do because think of it like a contract between you and the buyer stating exactly what you're going to offer them when the offer is sent, it will look something like this, stating what you will do, how much you will do it for, how long it will take you, and when the buyer accepts it, it looks like this. It then goes to the notification section and you will get a notification that an order has been placed. To see how your order looks, you can go to the order page and then you open the order that you want to check and you will see the details of the order. Every order has a countdown clock and this countdown clock is based on whatever you had entered for your delivery time. You will also deliver your completed work in this section as well. If the buyer had put in any specific requirements for the task, you would see them in this section, in a section that says show requirements. When you're completed with the task, you'll come to the order page and you would click deliver now. And then in the deliver now section, you have a message here that you would type up any message to the buyer that you want to let them know concerning the order. And then where you see it says upload work, you would click that and upload the completed work and then you would deliver the work. What happens after that is that the buyer gets a notification that the work was delivered and they have the chance to mark the order complete, meaning that everything is okay and they're satisfied with the work. When they do so, the funds that they had paid will be released to you and goes to your pending section area where it stays for 14 days if they're not satisfied with the order they would ask for what we call a revision a request for modification and you will get a message letting you know that a request has been submitted so when you deliver the order what happens to this clock is that the clock stops however if the buyer requests a modification the clock will start again if the buyer is satisfied with the work, what happens is that they can leave you a review and if they do so, in the messages section, in the notification area, you will see that a review has been left. How it works is that you will be told that you're given feedback from the buyer and in order to see your review, you have to review the buyer first. It has the option to leave you a tip. And that's an optional thing. They don't have to leave a review and they don't have to leave a tip. So those two parts are optional. So that's the complete order process from beginning to end.